Hey over there, Joe Lunchbox. Enjoy nighting up. And today we've landed right here in Philadelphia. Now, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere we go. Mm. Take a look at City Hall right over there. <laughs> There's a market over here. And that's what we're here to do. We're here for Christmas Village. It's a market in Philadelphia. It happens around City Hall, it happens in Love Park. And it's an authentic uh, German Christmas market, which is cool. I like me some nutcrackers and some uh, the mulled wines. Hopefully we can find some cool stuff. And uh, we never did this. It is cool that it actually takes place inside their city hall and around it. So we wanted to come, we wanted to bring you along with us, share it with you. Hopefully you like this kind of thing. If you do, you should like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below. But it's time to get started. Step right up, let's go for this ride. Literally right there behind us, Philadelphia City Hall. Now this just isn't any market. We have boots, we have stalls, we have food. We even have rides. Just looking at the little sign talking about, we have ice rink, cabin, food drinks have fun, a winter garden featuring a wine kiosk, restrooms, and here we have a map. <laughs> and this would be the Rothman cabin where it says there was food, fun, and drinks in there. I'm curious what kind of food is in the cabin. We have some burgers, mushroom burgers, pork bame, me. that sounds good, chicken palm, Philly cheesesteak egg rolls. Look, even they got it wrong. In Philly, it's just called a cheesesteak. But this is what I came for, mulled wine. You can get a keepsake mug for $12, refill a mug for only eight, or a paper cup for 10. Collectible mug for only $2 more than a paper cup? That sounds worth it to me. And we're at the Shadfors Winery is where the mulled wine is coming from. Do we want holiday spirit or do we want holiday spirit? <laughs> holiday spirit. It's the mulled wine. Enjoy smelling it. it smells so good. It's beginning to smell a lot like Christmas now. It's nice and warm. Little spices in there, just getting my throat in a nice way. Mm -hmm. When it's a cool, crisp day out here, getting ready for the holidays, nothing like some hot wine to keep you warm inside. This is cute. It's the the winery place. It says holiday vibes since 1982. It's a young winery, younger than both of us. I know, but it's good, and I can definitely see that they've been around for a while. I do like the mug. Mm -hmm. You know what I like? What? Sharing. Of course. Definitely can taste the mulling spices. It even tastes a little floral with the red. I like it. This is so fun. I mean, it's cute just sitting here and stuff like that, but I'm being so distracted because I, all, I hear, show them joy. all I hear is this little, little, all this stuff, and it's all these birds taking little bird baths in the dirt. Like, oh, those are cute. Now you're distracted. It has a good wine flavor, always warm. Almost tastes a little orange, the cloves, all the spices. <laughs> I see why it's an authentic German market. We have found an ice game ring stationed right in front of City Hall. And if you want to come here, they actually have skate rentals. And if you don't know how to skate, they have these little penguins you could get to push around almost like a skate walker. Looking for a nice spot to sit? You could even hang out in the winter garden. We have some structures made out of sticks and twigs with seats made out of logs. And it's more than just a nice spot to sit. All these things are actually the plants. It is made that if you want to learn about all the trees, herbs, perennials, annuals, they're all listed to see what plants we are seeing in the center city. That's actually pretty nice to know. Joy, don't look now. Are you, are you making an offering? Are you making an offering <laughs> to the weird, succulent, mossy, antlered? Yeah, I figure if I be nice, they won't hurt me. It looks like it should be a cryptid. There's another one. He looks like he's a beekeeper. Going on, got his netting already to make sure that they're safe from bees. 
the nest right down there. And I know that's lamb's ear, because I read it on the board. Wet learning. Actually, I just knew it was lamb's ear. <laughs> and if you want to feel lamb's ear, it feels nice and soft. It's good if you're in the woods, you have to take care of business and don't have toilet paper. Don't mix it up with poison ivy, though. Doesn't have three leaves clustered. It's nice and soft, big leaf. It looks so fuzzy too. It does. That's why it's good for toilet paper. Yeah, I figured out the other one that we saw was a beekeeper. I'm trying to figure out what this one is. I think he's a butterfly grower because it looks like there's some larvae in those jars. Oh. Little cocoons. Yeah. That's a good. Even a butterfly on the tip of the nose. Oh yeah. I was paying attention more to the one on the hand. And there's plenty of spots to sit. Oh. <laughs> ah, perfect. Wow. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to be able to get up. They actually are still decorating and building the last of these topiaries. This one definitely has a bird theme. We have some nests on it, some old dried sunflowers, pine cones, and the artist is actually decorating it right now with some peacock feathers. I'm not feeling authentic German yet with light-up candles, cannoli cafe, and city totes, but, but it does still have a fun feel. And all the booths that you could do some shopping, get some jewelry, get some cutting boards and resin, are these little stalls. The cool thing about Philadelphia City Hall is it's actually a courtyard in the middle and there are more stores in the center of it. And it looks like a carousel as well. I know what you're wondering. You're saying, Joe, I came to this market, I drank some old wine, I gotta use the bathroom. There's only porta potties there, right? No, you actually can go in City Hall and use the restrooms. Crazy photo when I was going in to uh, check out to make sure the restrooms were good for you guys. There was a photo on the wall of William Penn statue on top of City Hall. He looks big, but from the ground, you don't realize he's that big. Look at the people from 1894. <laughs> Unmerry Christmas, I guess. <laughs> Very unmerry Christmas. <laughs> now this is what I'm talking about. Look at this, a carousel in the center of City Hall. Now we're getting more traditional. In the center we have German bratwurst, traditional bratwurst, smoked bratwurst, a carousel. You could ride hummingbirds. You could ride a triceratops. You could ride a dolphin. Since it's Christmas, you could ride the reindeer. Okay, it's a regular deer, but you get the point. And the carousel is $5 a person for a ride. Joy found herself a little deer to ride on this carousel. Since she got the fun animal on the outside. Hey, yours is pretty though. Like, look at it. I got a silly horse. But it's a pretty one. It's really nice dark brown with the feathers on You have beautiful jewels on you too. I know, I like the backing on it too. Pretty cool. You like my, my horse book? <laughs> it is a more modern carousel, but it is two floors and has cool animals. And you know Joy loves carousels, so we had to ride it. I'd probably be climbing up to the second one, but I didn't want to climb up the stairs. There was a gorilla with a banana on no, the second one. That's not what I would have for. Gorilla banana. There's an elephant on the second one. There is. The problem with the second one is there's no horses next to each other. It's only one. So I couldn't sit next to Joa if she rode an elephant. You could have found the gorilla. I would have rolled the gorilla with banana. <laughs> and we're off. Mold wine. 
We were looking at other fun drinks. Not for the drinks, just because we like the little steins and the box glasses. I know, I wish that like, we could get them without the drinks in yeah. them. At like a discounted price, but, but I don't think I've heard I like the milk wine, but we were looking at a hot toddy. There's some beer. The beer, the Spiked hot chocolate. Oh, I do like my horse now that I saw her. I see why Joy rode the deer. He got strawberries. She loves strawberries. I like the mark, but I also like just walking through City Hall. Cool sculptures. On the north side of City Hall, we have some more booths and a Ferris wheel and a train. I'm looking at top City Hall. You actually get a good view of that William Penn statue. A funny thing about that William Penn statue, see the way that his hand is facing in that position? There's other angles that it looks like he's a very powerful man. I'll give you a laugh, I'll show you later at the end. We're gonna have a round on the expo wheel. We're waiting on the line to get on a Ferris wheel. They only are using two of the buckets on the whole Ferris wheel. There's a line. Only using two. I don't get this. Empty, 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 empty. People. <laughs> we made it on. Woohoo! Our own Ferris wheel. I know. That's crazy. I have to be careful. It's it's very it's childish. Low. It's very low, yeah. Yeah, I bumped my head on. It was funny. There. I came in first to sat and the <laughs> car almost went sideways from the weight distribution. Not the first wheel, just the, the bucket we're sitting in. But here we do have a good view of City Hall another up top. And as we crest the top, we could see the market to the west of City Hall. Right down there. The Love Park Market. Cute. This is actually pretty nice. You know, this is like some of the other ones where they, I feel like they book it. I know. But I feel that makes me cry. Oh, yeah. That was a that was a park that had awesome, awesome Oh, the game, game pieces. pieces. Yeah, it would have been right We went right to that there. years ago. It was one of our very first videos we ever filmed. Right there. It was a cool park. It but, really was, but... But progress. Whoa! We got stuck at the top! Yeah, don't move. Please, don't move. I'm not rocking it. <laughs> it's rocking itself, Joy. I mean, it's cool because there's, there's a better thing of the market down there. Yeah, now we can get a good view. So we have... We have the market here to the west side of City Hall. And as we diagonally cross the street, there's the other market at Love Park. They're the same market, just spread out between the two areas. I've never realized the amount of like statues around. Like, see the two statues around here, and then the one statue mm -hmm. where like the Love Park. Ooh, a printing press. Yeah. Philadelphia does have a lot of statues and murals. Got to get ready. To disembark. This is so cute. There's a train station and it's actually presented by SEPTA. Little train ride for the kids. Cute little train ride for the kids. That Grateful Dead poncho is so for me. Some ponchos. Free. We have. Some jewelry. Ooh, a distillery. There are some cute booths. We're not really focusing on what people are selling here. All I will say about what people are selling here is it's not authentic German. I haven't seen one cuckoo clock or one German nutcracker, but they did have mulled wine, so I'll take that as a plus. <laughs> and they have beer and stein, so if you're into beer, I'll take that as a plus. I know you clicked this video to see a Christmas village. But if you watch any of our other videos, you know I'm into roadside attractions, world's weird biggest, thing. stuff like that, weird stuff. And as we were making our way from the city hall hey, to Love Park. I never knew this. Let me get it that the pole's not in your way. That has to be 
the world's largest clothespin. Look at the size of it next to a truck. That's so cool. We left the city hall area. We've made our way to Love Park. Iconic skateboard location. Now Christmas market. And we have more booths full of stuff. And something smells like burning wood. But I think it's roasted corn. Hush John, corn roasting smells delicious. I have a lot more booths from puzzles to cookware to Mexican artistry to natural olive wood. No nutcrackers. The hunt is still on. The funny thing is, I found a Russian nesting doll in a Mexican art booth. From Love Park, we could see the shot of William Penn I was telling you about. That is his hand poking out, but Philadelphia One Show is a powerful city. So, coming from the Philadelphia Art Museum down Benjamin Franklin Parkway, any which way, that hand doesn't only look like a hand. He's showing how powerful the city of Philadelphia is. And you might think that statue was done like that by accident. That, we were told, it was done on purpose. Okay, so every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. I'm helping them out up there. <laughs> the Love Park just opened up to this little center pavilion area with the tree and city hall behind it. It is sad to know this used to dip down and people on skateboards used to skate around now it's all flat. They took the skateboard charm out of Love Park. <laughs> and filled it with Christmas. They filled it with Christmas. <laughs> Sitting area with the stage. Now this feels like a Christmas market to me. We made a purchase from a shop called Gifts From Afar, a little Russian nesting doll. You might say, that's already small. Oh, it gets smaller. I thought it was only gonna be three. There is five. Five little Santa Clauses. Good find, good find. Russian nesting doll, I like it. And you can always get your chocolate on. Even a chocolate camera. Chocolate, 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 chocolate. You could eat a chocolate Minion. clothespin oh, chocolate in clothespin. next to a block away from the real giant clothespin. Oh, that's true too. We finally found what I was looking for. It's Christmas from Germany. Oh my God, this is dangerous. Best Christmas market in America. I have to say right now. Right behind Joyce's head. So right in that building, they had nutcrackers, they had Ku Klux, they had glass ornaments, hand blown they in Germany and in Eastern Europe, Europe. This spot was awesome. Best market. We had mulled wine. We did this. We're still walking around Love Park, but we got a little nutcracker. Dresselmeyer from the Nutcracker, the musical or the opera, the toy maker. You know the guy. He has his eye patch and all. Like I wanted more like stuff in certain spots like where they're made, where they're like how the yes. nesting doll and stuff like that. It's made, it's made it like worth it. Yeah. It's an authentic German Christmas authentic. market that actually has authentic now German authentic. stuff. Yes. Sadly we weren't allowed to film in there, but that right there, this this is probably we, we live in New York City. We go to I mean, Bryan Park, wrong, Union Square, like which are fun. Well, like, Nothing is as cool as this Christmas yeah. market. I agree. This is the best market. This is the best time to visit Philadelphia. He agrees too. Come on down to the Christmas Village any day of the week. It's awesome. It's, and like I said, it is Love Park. So we have a line to get your photo taken in front of the iconic Love Park sculpture. Love Park workers actually taking the photos for people. Oof. We don't wait in silly lines. Look, it's us near Love Park. <laughs> Got it. This market has a whole beer arm food and alcohol beverage area when we got here we went around city hall i'm like oh that was cute it was a nice little market and we get to the park and i go this thing is massive <laughs> there is a row after row of shops of food of jewelry we have schnitzels potato pancakes strudels joy's trying to figure out what we're gonna snack on 
going for the spinach and cheese turtle. Spinach and cheese turtle yeah. sounds good to me. We're going for spinach and cheese, but that apple strudel looks amazing. Okay. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that looks good. We had to get something to nibble on in the spinach and cheese strudel. No paper. Unless you bite into the paper. That's delicious. You chose wisely, Joy. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> The crust is flaky. The cheese is soft, but also a little pulley. The spinach is so finely chopped that it blends into by It's not like I have chunks of spinach. It is delicious. And you see what Joy is doing is now not pulling the paper down so far so I don't take giant bites and eat the whole thing. <laughs> I, I know her ways. So we can vouch. Hummus Austrian strudels. Spinach and cheese strudel. Yes. French toast bites. They had bacon on a stick. Seen on TV, now seen on our YouTube channel. We can't go wrong with bacon on a stick. We got our bacon on a stick and it's false advertising in the best way. It's bacons! Look at that. So for six dollars we actually got four full pieces of bacon. Yeah. Good fat layer, still crispy, a little sweet. You never go wrong with bacon. Salty, sweet, creamy with the fat. Amazing snack. I know there's all these big German things, and I love schnitzel. I love all this stuff, but we just want to feel light. I'm not saying bacon's light, but it's not like a full fried dinner. I'll go for the crispy one. Joy prefers the chewier, I like the crispier. Did you see that good layer of fat in there? So there you have it, the Christmas Village in Philadelphia. You could do some shopping, ice skating, ride some rides, eat some food, get a German nutcracker. <laughs> I had a fun time. It's a cute little market. We would definitely say if you're in Philly, it's obviously not year round, it's for Christmas. It's starting now in November, goes through December. That's a cool little uh, market they got here. Yep. We would definitely recommend it. Oh yeah. But I think we would call it right now. I think so. so the Christmas Village here in Philadelphia. Been there, done that. Remember folks, safe travels and live life. So you stayed to the end of our video. So you actually earned yourself some extra credit. <laughs> you might be wondering, we come to Philadelphia quite often. And when we come to Center City, where do we park? Because parking obviously in the middle of the cities does get expensive. Well, right here on Spring Street between 15th and 16th Street is this parking garage. And to come today, when we recorded this, is a Sunday. It is $12, not per hour, $12 the whole day. I feel around the center city in Philadelphia, you go on a reading terminal market, you go on the convention center, you might have a three walk. We walked about three blocks today to City Hall, but it's $12, which is affordable. And I like parking high up in the tower. I feel a little bit safer leaving my car than some of the ones that are just on the ground. That's where we park, and that's what we recommend. Perfect. Joy wanted a boot, and she got Das Boot. Das Boot. We liked it. We, the mulled wine was good and delicious, but she wanted a souvenir that actually said Christmas Village in Philadelphia. 